Hello everyone and welcome to part number 21 of the Runaway Teen Challenge. So here we are, we're picking up pretty soon after we left off. So I've got Alfonso filling up the bowls right now. Um, this lady here, oh, I guess not. <laughs> has she gotten her job yet? She has, and who is her boss again? I completely forget. This old, old guy named Cornell. So we're gonna have her clean this up really quickly. And have you become an adult yet? Not yet. This is their birthday, so this should be very, very exciting. And there's a kitty walking in my front yard really right now, and it's really cute. So any who's a majuzzle. Um, let's see, I'm gonna have her watch some TV really quick, and let's see what Faye is doing. Faye is playing with her little teddy bear. Um, she did her homework already, so she's all good to go. Of course, as usual, Olivia and Alfonso are kind of off in their own worlds, not really paying attention to anything. Um, I'm having Alfonso clean up right now, you know, not really even paying attention to each other. Like, they have wands to do things together, but it's like, they just can't make themselves do it, interestingly enough. Um, they just don't feel like it. They don't really have the energy for it, you know. Life gets in the way, basically. So, um, let's see. Mr. Alfonso, what shall I have you do? He's got a pretty good relationship with Sophie at this point, which is good. Um, and Sophie's talking to her baby sister. <laughs> so cute. Um, so we're going to flatter her. And we're going to, um, chat with her. We'll praise her, mm, tell her a story. I kind of want them to have a decent relationship because I feel like if Faye does run away, I feel like the person that's going to bring her home, so to speak, or not even bring her home because clearly she's not going to come home, but the person that would really, um, that would really be the one that she would get more, you know, get in touch with again, that she would feel like she actually wants to talk to again, would be her sister. And I'm actually really excited about that, because I think they're going to have a really nice relationship, and I think it's going to be beautiful and wonderful and all that good stuff. But first off, I need to get Sophie, like, to meet some people. I feel like she doesn't know anyone at this point which is really not good um she starts work tomorrow so that's good she'll she'll at least get to meet some of her co-workers and maybe we can make a love connection for sophie i'm gonna have her eat some apple pancakes really quick and um let's see olivia is just being a complete couch potato right now <laughs> um i think i might go ahead and send her to sleep since she is a little tired i'll just have her go you know, lay down, take a nap, take a load off, you know? It's time to relax. This poor family never gets a chance to really relax sometimes. And then I come have him eat some leftover pancakes also. And what if we went ahead and sent... Oops, that's not what I meant to do, but... Okay. What if we went ahead and sent Miss Lady out on the town or something? It's fall right now. Hmm, Clarabelle's bed and breakfast. We could go to the coffee house. Uh, we've got some people just kind of hanging around at the coffee house. There's so many old people in this town now. It's like literally everyone is old. And that's a problem. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of like what's a popular place here. Maybe we can go to the club. But there seems to be absolutely nobody there. There's a bar over here. So the mixologist is there. Um, yeah, why don't we go here? You might as well. And then we can maybe talk to her boss. And get uh, get in the goods with her boss. Yes, indeed. Let me squeeze you. Oh, my gosh. Who is that? Puzzle Gunderson. Puzzle Gunderson shouldn't even exist. What? Homie, really? I don't even know who that is or why they're there, but apparently they are. Hey, isn't that a boss? No, it's not. Okay. 
Oh, we came here before. This is where um, Olivia came and met up with that one dude. I can't remember what, who it was. And certainly not what his name was. <laughs> oh, good job, Maya. You're so good at keeping track of things. I'm really tired right now. I just got off work, and then I have to go back to work in a couple hours, which sucks a lot. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and have her buy a round of drinks, though. Just have a little bit of fun, you know? She's got work tomorrow, but you know what? Who even cares? Oh, this girl does not seem to know what she's doing. <laughs> Okay, so it's an energy drink, which is always interesting. I don't know why you would serve an energy drink at a bar. Is that normal? I don't even know. <laughs> I wouldn't even know. But I wonder where the heck this old guy is. Where is he? <sighs> okay, so that's the proprietor. But I can't find the old guy. Oh, look at this. This is nice. What the heck is up with the sky right now? Goodness gracious, it looks absolutely awful. <laughs> but it's giving this pink haze everything, which is weird. So she's just going to chill, drink her drink. Oh, that's awesome. She brought her drink with her to the... I didn't even know you could do that. Did you know you could do that? She brought her drink with her into the hot tub. That's amazing. Birthday time. Let's go, spaghetti -o. Okay. Oh, somebody got his dreads back. Honestly, I'm going to live... I'm going to leave it. <laughs> I think it's funny. Why not? It's her turn now, right? Yeah, it's her turn. That's what I thought. Okay, guys. Let's stop with this crap already. Did you really break the toilet, kiddo? Ay, ay, ay. We'll go ahead and have her go to sleep really quick. Because she's tired anyway. And we'll have him unclog the toilet. And ooh, look at that hair. Why is it that most of the people who become like adults get this hairstyle? Like that is insane. All right, I'm going to go into hair or stylist and uh, we'll switch up her hair. And maybe we'll even switch up her. Uh, maybe we'll switch up her outfit a little bit. She looks good. She is still looking freaking fabulous. I mean, it's like time hasn't even touched her. But that hair, though, <laughs> that hair, though, is no bueno. Um, what if we did something a little different? Okay, let's go in here. Because, I mean, she's had the long, wavy hair for a really, really long time. Um, I don't know how this is going to look. Oh, my gosh, that gives her that massive egg head, which is not at all cute. Um, that kind of shrinks her face a little bit or dwarfs her face if you will that looks good but again it's kind of making her face look really tiny um if you know what i mean and um it's not the best look hmm let's see <laughs> i love this hairstyle i really do but i can't i can't think of anyone any of my sims who would really wear it. You know, I can't find a sim that would really wear that hair. Um, hmm. I'm running out of options. We got that, which just looks crazy. Freaking cray cray. Um, my tummy hurts, you guys. Might cut this part a little bit short because I'm not feeling the best right this second, unfortunately. Um, that looks cute, but not really. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. It looks good on her. Um, hmm, what about this? That doesn't look bad either, actually. But maybe we'll just go with some straight hair for her for now. Yeah. Maybe she just switched it up and decided to stop having the waves and just go with some straight hair. Simple enough. Little trim and cut and blah, 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 blah. All good. All Gucci. We good to go. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, let's see. So now she is starving her head off. So we'll go ahead and get her to eat some leftovers really quick. And of course, she's having a midlife crisis. What else is new? 
Um, so while he's fixing that up, then we'll have him use the toilet. Did you not fix it? Okay, he did fix it. Okay, he fixed it, and then we'll send him to sleep, because he is exhausted. Uh-uh, 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 Testing cheats enabled true. I'm sorry, you gots to go, my friend. Okay, no way are we having you all over the place. Okay, okay. I do not freaking like these little toys at all. In fact, boom, the end. I mean, I'm sorry, baby. I know you enjoyed playing with it and all that stuff, but it is just no. <laughs> it is just no boy, no. Gosh dang, girl, get out of the hot tub already. Lordy, lordy. Oh, and she's not going to be able to go to sleep because she, she drank. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we'll come on home then. We'll have her come on home. Where is the puppy doing? Ma'am. I think you need to go potty, my love. So I'm going to have her go and pee here. And then we'll have her sleep there. Go to sleep, baby, in the shelter of your lovely little cubby. Um, we'll have him. He's going to chew on that. Or she's going to chew on that, rather. I don't know what you're doing, sir. You are not about to pee on the floor, are you? Thank God. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, so we'll have him come get a toy. Get a toy, baby. So he's got a toy to play with so he can get his destruction up. I don't know why he's walking all over the place just to do that. And then I'm going to have him go to sleep as well. Maya, on the other hand, is doing just fine. She's inside, and she's probably going to sleep on the couch as usual. And just chill. Sleep here, baby. You can't sleep there since when? Okay, go here. And sleep on the couch. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is game sometimes, I swear. Okay, so she took a little bath, and then I'm going to send her to sleep also. And then we'll go ahead and zoom past this guy, so we'll be right back when they wake up. All right, guys, so that didn't take long at all because Miss Sophie had to go ahead and wake up so that she could get some grub in before it's time to go to work. Poor girl stayed out so late. She barely got any sleep. She's going to be so freaking tired by the end of the day, and it is not going to be cute at all. But you don't really have time to clean up, baby. So just go on ahead and go to work. She's about to change into her outfit, which is wonderful. Um, Alfonso is up in Adam. He's going to have to improve his relationship with his partner once more since he lost his old partner. I'm not sure why he's not going to work today. I don't know what happened, but he's not going to work, so I'm going to have him come down and serve some pancakes instead. Puppy dog needs to destroy some stuff, but first she needs to go ahead and eat some food. Oh, she's so old and it makes me sad. I'm scared. I don't want her to die. Um, so she's going to eat that. Tramp is still fast asleep and when he wakes up we'll have him come and chew on that. Let's see. Puppy dog is now out of foodsies, which is not good at all. But um, we'll have Miss ice cream and come and chew on her chew toy also just so that everybody's in a nice and good mood today he's also very hungry so as soon as he's done with that we'll probably have him can you not really really tramp stop it stop it there you go get your mood up a little bit stop being such a pain in my rear end Alright, and what are you doing, Olivia? <laughs> Whoever we'll come chill and watch some TV. Completely ignoring Faye as usual. I don't even know where Faye is going. Faye, where are you going? Is she about to give her some affection? Aw, that's sweet. We'll talk to her. We'll let her sniff our hand. And we'll feed her a treat. And we'll brush her if she'll let us. <gasps> oh god! What did you do? Oh my goodness gracious. Hold on. Alfonso. Fix it. Baby, fix it. 
Really? The maid is going to put the fire out? <laughs> oh my god, what else is on fire? Okay, so we'll replace that. Everything else seems to be good to go, though. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, well that went beautifully well. I don't know what he just cooked for himself, either. But he cooked something. She wants to flirt with Terry. Ooh! Terry. Um, <laughs> well, um, what are you doing? Oh, I guess he's leaving. So we'll have to talk to him later. But, uh, hello, Terry. What's the name? Terry Schmidt. Okay, so we'll make sure we talk to him later. She's gonna go ahead and cook some stuff. I'm gonna have Tramp come eat some breakfast. Have him come over here. Oh, he gained the adventurous trait. That's interesting. After all this time. <laughs> Um, and then we'll have him eat from his bowl. Oh, he's getting old too. Oh, baby. Let's see. Oh my gosh, she's exhausted. I forgot to even have her get to know her co-workers at work. It's Cornell Bauer. Do you want to hang out? Who is he? Uh, no thank you. Who's Cornell Bauer? Was he the other firefighter? Maybe he was, and I just don't remember. Who is Cornell Bauer? Who the heck? I wonder if that Rico Schmidt guy finished cleaning. Probably not. He probably was like, Okay, so I helped you extinguish your fire. I'm out. I'm outie. <laughs> but, um, let me see. I'm gonna have her sniff out a collectible. I'm just gonna find me something, baby. I don't even care what. Um, oh my gosh, Sophie is dying. Girl is going to bed, like, right this very second. And, um, Olivia should be finishing up breakfast or lunch, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what time of the day we're at at this point. It's, like, mid-afternoon. <laughs> ay ay ay. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so sleepy, you guys. This is the bad part about me recording after I get home from work is that I just get so tired and I'm just like, I want to take a nap. <laughs> it's funny. All right, so what are you doing, ma'am? Put the damn thing away. <laughs> Clean it up, woman, and then we'll have her go take a shower, use the toilet, just get her all in order. Sophie is passed out. She's doing what I want to do right now. Just hit the hay and go to sleep. I could totally see Sophie having a little bit of a drinking problem, though. I could totally see that happen. I really, really could. Because I can already see the tendencies a little bit. You know what I mean? Not to mention that she's really had it very easy for her life. So, um, you know, she tends to take things. I could see her wanting to take things for granted. I mean, her parents gave her everything they could possibly do for her, they've done for her, and, um, yeah. Um, let me see. What else can I do with these guys? It's really just kind of a, you know, let's kill time type of thing until Faye is old enough to kind of run away on her own as well. Um, oh my goodness, I don't even know. What did I do? How did that go up by itself? Did you notice that or was that just me? Could have been just me. I don't even know. Um, I'm going to have her come eat this Goopy Carbonara though. Come eat your food, dear girl. Eat your dinner before you just starve yeah. your booty off. Don't want my child starving or dying of starvation. And then I think we'll go ahead and send her to sleep really early. Um, she already did her homework because she's an amazing, amazing child. So off to sleep with her. I think that'll be fine. Um, Alfonso, what are you doing? <laughs> Being next level creepy, my, is what I'm doing. Um, we'll have him eat some goopy carbonara that his lovely wife made, and then I think I will send her to sleep for now. And then as soon as he's done eating, we will send him to sleep as well. Um, she's passed out. Let's see, the puppy dogs are all passing out right now. And I think we'll go ahead and send Mr. Alfonso to bed also. Just get him into his 
nighttime routine, if you will. And uh, that's everybody. But I am going to go ahead and wrap this up a little bit early, guys. I apologize if this part was really short and also a little uninteresting because mine's just like trying not to fall asleep right here at my desk. <laughs> Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching part 21 of the Runaway Teen Challenge. Definitely leave me your comments and suggestions down below for what you guys would like to see in the next part. Um, of course, we are already planning on continuing on the Runaway Teen Challenge with Faye once she gets older. But any other suggestions are welcome. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you have not already. And I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening or morning or whatever it is for you. And I will see you guys in the next part of whatever I make. Bye, guys.